A few things to know about the unit circle. Sine will be the y value of the coordinates. Cosine will be the x value of the coordinates. And then tangent will be the sine divided by cosine, or the y value of the coordinates divided by the x value of the coordinates. So filling in for the first two quadrants, the sine of 0 degrees is 0. The sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. The sine of 45 degrees is rad 2 over 2. The sine of 60 is rad 3 over 2. The sine of 90 is 1. The sine of 120 degrees is rad 3 over 2. The sine of 135 degrees is rad 2 over 2. The sine of 150 degrees is 1 half. The sine of 180 degrees is 0. Moving on to cosine. Cosine of 0 degrees is 1. Cosine of 30 degrees is rad 3 over 2. Cosine of 45 degrees is rad 2 over 2. Cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. Cosine of 90 degrees is 0. Please keep in mind, as we go to the second quadrant, cosine will be negative. Likewise, within the second, third, and fourth quadrants, there's always at least one trig function which has a negative value, or negative sign. Okay, so the cosine of 120 degrees is negative 1 half. Cosine of 135 degrees is negative rad 2 over 2. Cosine of 150 degrees is negative rad 3 over 2. And cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. Moving on to tangent, tangent of 0 degrees is 0, tangent of 30 degrees is rad 3 over 3, tangent of 45 degrees is 1, tangent of 60 degrees is rad 3, tangent of 90 degrees is undefined because we can't divide by 0, we call that undefined. Then tangent of 120 degrees is negative rad 3, tangent of 135 degrees is negative 1, tangent of 150 degrees is negative rad 3 over 3, and then tangent of 180 degrees is 0. Please keep in mind if you continue throughout the unit circle, the signs, meaning S-I-G-N-S, of certain trig functions will be negative.